What a return to the Champions League that was. Arsenal 4, PSV 0. Hello and welcome to Up the Arsenal. What a game. Bakaya Saka scores his first Champions League goal in his first Champions League game in our first Champions League goal of the season. Wow, first fast pass. That was a great goal from Saka there. And then Trossard who scored a goal at the weekend, who scored the winner at the weekend in fact against Everton. He scores the second goal tonight and it was absolutely amazing. Gabriel Jesus scores on 38 minutes to make it 3-0 to Arsenal at half time. And then what a brilliant strike by Odegaard on the 70th minute to make it 4-0 to Arsenal and that's how it finishes in our first Champions League game back. Wow. They were all great goals. I would have loved to have been there. However, no tickets to this one, but I am going to the second home game against Sevilla on the 8th of November. Yes, both of our Champions League games in October are both away. Our next home game is not until 8th of November. And uh, yes, I have been successful in the battle for that one, so we'll be going to that one. So looking forward to that one. Have been successful in the ballot in the recent times. That's the third game. So happy about that. Now, of course, the lineup was interesting. Now, the lineup mostly was what I was expecting. As I said in the preview, it's basically what I said in the preview. Like I said, I want to see Jesus start and not Anketia. And that is exactly what we got. However, interestingly, Arteta went with David Raya in goal. Now, I thought that is really harsh on Ramsdale. I would have really liked to see Ramsdale start. I thought that Ramsdale deserved to start tonight after last year's fantastic performances. He was a big part of the reason of us getting Champions League this season. And he did deserve to start. And it was really disappointing to see him not starting. And it throws the goalkeeping position into big questions. Who will be starting on Sunday now? That's what everybody's talking about. You normally do know who's going to be starting in goal, but yeah, it throws the goalkeeping into big, big questions and nobody knows who's going to start where. Havertz was the other one that I wasn't sure about wanting to see in the, in the squad. I said it probably going to start. I said Arteta would start him and it did and I wasn't sure if I wanted to see him. However, his performance tonight was fine. He didn't do anything wrong, so it was fine to see him in the lineup tonight. But we just blew PSV away. In the other match in Group B, Severe hosted Lens, and that finished 1 1, which means we are sitting top of the group on three points with a goal difference of four. And we've got Lens and Severe both on one point with PSV currently on zero. That's how it stands. After match day one in the Champions League Group B. Now, of course, the other match tonight, if you're not an Arsenal fan, you're probably watching the Bayern Munich Manchester United game, which I would have been watching if it was on at a different time. Well, that game didn't disappoint, did it? A seven goal thriller there. But of course, Bayern Munich won 4 3. I was not quite expecting Manchester United to score three goals in that because uh, they are it really hit with injuries and suspensions. They've got 12 unavailable players. But yeah, that match is probably going to be the big talk, talking point of tonight. It was so good to hear the Champions League music back at the Emirates tonight, even though I wasn't there, heard it on the TV. And it's just so great to have the Champions League back at Emirates. Declan Rice was absolutely fantastic tonight on his Champions League debut. What a sign-in he has been. He's really showing his worth and he looks great tonight of course the weather <laughs> it was really raining and it's still really raining now so if you went to the match tonight probably got a bit wet on the way home <laughs> how did you find this match though did you enjoy the match let me know in the comments below the way we played tonight was absolutely fantastic just free flowing fantastic football fantastic passing and it was absolutely amazing to see. God, it feels so great to be back in the Champions League. And I cannot wait to be there at our next home game. But of course, we've got two more games before that. We've got Lens away next. And then we play Seville twice. Away first and a home 
bucket. The, the Emirates. And of course, we play Lens at home and PSV away in December to finish it off. Yeah, it's a bit weird how the Champions League works. It's not home away, home away. It's home, two away, two at home and away. But that's just the way the Champions League works. Listen, 4 0 in any Champions League game is an absolute hammering. Okay, this is the top competition and scoring four goals in any Champions League game is absolutely fantastic. And to keep a clean sheet as well, well that was just a perfect return to the Champions League. Let's hope we can do that all throughout the group stages. As I said, I expect to finish top of the group. There's no excuses not to finish top of the group because this is a favourable group. This is a pretty easy group for the players that we have. And we are expected to finish top of the group. Of course, if you finish top of the group, you play a second team in the round of 16 from another group. So a little bit easier. Obviously, it's not in a Champions League. Nothing's easier. But it's a little bit easier draw than finish a second and playing somebody who's finished top of their group. So yeah, I do expect Arsenal to finish top of the group. So I definitely expect us to win our next game against Lens away. And of course that is coming up in two weeks time. Next week is the Caribou Cup. We do play next on Sunday against Tottenham. Yes, it's the North London derby at the weekend. And both teams are currently sitting on 13 points. So it's going to be a very interesting match. But I will watch that. But I will talk about that. In the preview that will be out in the next couple of days. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash a like on this video. If we did not have the North London Derby. I reckon we could have possibly scored even more goals tonight. I think once we got 3-0 up. The players did take their foot off the gas a little bit. To save themselves for the weekend. Which is totally understandable. It is a massive game at the weekend that we must win. So that is totally understandable. But yeah, we possibly could have scored a lot more goals. And of course, how can I forget? We saw the return of Smith Rowe. I think it's his first time he's played this season and been on. So it's great to see Smith Rowe, Nelson and also Vieira coming on as substitutes in the game. It's so great. And yeah, it's really great to see Smith Rowe. You know, he possibly could have even started this game because he hasn't played match games. So that's probably why not. But it was great to see him come back on. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Smash a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the preview of the North London Derby. Oh, see you soon. Goodbye.